You'll notice I'm using a long line. You've got more chance of holding him because you can let out the lead and he, 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 that, just that being able to pull back and let off a bit of steam enables you to hold the rope. Whereas if you had a short rope, you'd have no chance of holding him. And I do like them to think <laughs> that I am stronger than him. And of course, if you let go of the rope, they know that you're not. So, I mean, obviously you have to do sometimes, but the idea is not to, go back. The idea is not to let them think that they're stronger than you. Don't nibble. It's not spooky, as you can see, I can drop that chain and he doesn't have a flinch like uh, Farouk would when he first came. He's just, as you can see there, he's just crowding me. This is something we've got to sort out, but not all at once. We don't want to upset him because that will be a little bit aggressive to sort that out. So um, that will come a bit later once he's got a bit more settled. Walking on. He's walking again into me. Get over. Good boy. Good boy. This is his favourite uh, area for standing and uh, that's his little poo spot. So it's good that he does it in one spot and not all over. It, that may change as he gets more used to the paddock but at the moment don't be so pussy. That's um, how it is. Back you go. Go on, over. Just have to get out the gate now. Over. Good boy. Over. Good boy. Good boy. As if that isn't muddy enough. <laughs> oh, that's a nice little. Oh, right near the gate, nutter. Yes. Well, that was a bit silly there, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> so he's just seeing who's been, but of course it's only him. <laughs> to show you this dexterous squirrel. Look at that. Yeah, he's up there eating the bird seed. <laughs> Look how clever that is. He's really, he's found a way to do it. Hanging on his little feet at the back there. <laughs> the monkey. I don't think the little sparrow's overly impressed. He can't get in. <laughs> Day five and back to sunny weather. I'm repeating that last section in slow motion as you may have missed what's just happened. Diablo has seen me and is coming over 
But on his way, he just has to get rid of those bulls. Just look at this. Diablo's really dominating those cows. Well, that's good for when we're out riding in a few years' time. Time. Well, twig, should we say. Large twig. Perhaps can't call it a branch, but look at him. What a cute he is. He's not frightened, is he? You know, he's a playful chap. He's so much like Apollo. I'm so glad we got him. Look at him. That's an Apollo. He's an Apollo. Definitely.
there he is. <laughs> It's the end of another day, the 5th of June. Diablo is in his stable after a nice day out. And there is a uh, sizable moon out there. Hope we can catch it on this video. Anyway, 5th of June has come to an end. I think it's made a huge difference the way Renz showed Diablo how to move those bulls. Tomorrow's video is Renz and myself boxing up and taking the big boys to Sinnington. TTFN!